We are back earlier in the show. We talked pythons and boas. Now we're moving on to copperhead snakes. Jesse Rothaker with Forgotten Friend Reptile Sanctuary is still with us here this morning. And, and who did you bring with you here, Jesse? Well, I brought some small mammals. This is my <laughs> son, Kenny, my daughter, Viola. Yeah. And then we have a lot of snakes. These snakes, they could not be on the show last month. Yes. Because they were stuck inside one of these. Okay. So they are literally out of the egg for just a <laughs> matter of weeks right now. Wow, and they are they are ready to go. So yeah, they are. Let's talk about the myth. We're trying to dispel some myths here and we, we dispelled one about the uh, the boa last mm -hmm. half hour. Uh, but let's talk about the myth now with copperheads and, and mating. And, and there's a myth that apparently they, they can mate with, with black snakes, is that right? Yeah, so the idea, people come up to us and they say, is it true that copperheads are mating with black snakes and then they have a new offspring that doesn't look like either one, but it's still venomous? Yes. So what Kenny's holding, this is Rita the rat snake. You guys have probably seen them. People call them commonly just black snakes. They're actually yeah. called black rat or eastern rat snakes. And the rat snakes wear a pattern a lot like this little guy. Can we get a shot of this little one here? This is a baby corn still. snake. Oh, wow. And the baby corn snake uh, looks a lot like a baby rat snake. There's a gray base with black saddles or black spots. And that's where the misconception comes from that these snakes are interbreeding because as adults, the rat snakes lose their pattern, but as babies, they wear a pattern. And there's a lot of in between in the juvenile stages. So people see a rat snake with a pattern and they go, well, I know that thing must have made it with a copperhead. That's why it has a pattern like a copperhead. That's Interesting. false, it's not true. And just for the record, what's venomous, what's not? Are these venomous? No, the rat snakes are non-venomous. Yes. The corn snakes are non-venomous. In Pennsylvania, we have two venomous snakes. That would be the rattlesnake and the copperhead. And the copperhead, okay, yeah. Now, you've got video to show off some of the hatching. Oh yeah, Viola. <laughs> They're going to show a video of that snake hatching. Tell everyone what it's like with that snake hatching in your hands. It's very cute, but at the same time, sort of slimy. <laughs> but it's very nice to see um, a new life come out of that little egg. I, I was going to say, it it's got to be pretty cool to uh, see that new life. And you're holding it right there in your hands. Mm -hmm. That is neat. And look at the color on that. Uh, it, and one of the reasons that we want to show that these snakes are coming out of eggs yes. is that copperheads have live birth. That's one of the reasons we know copperheads cannot mate with rat snakes because one is an egg layer, mm -hmm. one is a live bearer. And so those two things are not compatible. So on its face, rattlesnakes, copperheads cannot mate with egg laying snakes. And that just goes to show you how ignorant I am. And, and I'm probably not alone. I thought all snakes laid eggs. So yeah, a lot of people would think so. So that. uh, that's an interesting, you learn something new every day. So Jesse, as always, whether they want answers to myths or like me, I know you too, you come to, to my kid's school and, and mm -hmm. daycare. How can people find out more about what you do in Forgotten Friend? Well, visit ForgottenFriend.org, or if you want to see videos like the one of a snake catching of all his hands, yeah. Forgotten Friend Reptile TV is our YouTube channel, Forgotten Friend Reptile TV. That's awesome. Well, we appreciate you coming on today, and uh, kids, good luck with school this year. We thank you for coming on, and Jesse, as always, thanks for always uh, teaching us something here. Hey, thanks, Brad, <laughs> and thanks for giving reptiles a chance. You got it. Uh, stay with us. We'll be back right after this.